So today I wanted to address more the question of why as a natural dyer, you would want to get into mushrooms and want to get into lichens because it can be a little intimidating at first because often with these, uh, you're using scientific names for the first time instead of common names and that can be intimidating and you need to be able to identify things. You need to know more of the characteristics of what it is, also where it's found, how it's growing. Um, and that can be kind of daunting. So why go into it at all? And the reason why I think it's really worth doing is twofold. One, um, it's going to massively increase the colors you can get. Once you get into mushrooms and lichens, your palette of what you can get out of the natural world in terms of color is going to increase exponentially. Uh, you're going to go from some of the standard colors that you get with plants and suddenly you're going to get into these violets and these purples, um, these oranges, these true, true reds um, and others. So it's a really, really great way to increase what you can dye with. Also, I think as, when you get into foraging, it's actually cheaper. So I tend to buy my yarn now. I buy it in bulk and I buy white yarn. I stain off as much as I want. I dye the colors that I want and then I proceed with my projects that way. So I don't, so I've gone from buying my colors to making my colors, which is kind of fun. And the other thing that I think is one of the real frontiers of dyeing that I love and I get more and more excited about is connecting a color that you can make with a place. And what I mean is, let's say you were interested or you, you grew up on a farm or to um, just another area that you can forage in, you can collect color from that place and you can make color from it and wear it. Instead of just having a photograph of a place that you love, you can create color and wear a piece of it and carry a piece of it with you. Um, and I think that's a really interesting product. And if that's what you're interested in, being able to get colors from different sources allows you a much broader palette. The other thing I wanted to quickly touch on is the ethical aspect. And that's really important to keep in mind, especially for lichens, which can be slow growing and extremely sensitive to things like air quality. We want to be harvesting things that have fallen on the ground naturally. We don't want to take lichens from live trees. We don't want to take lichens off of rocks. Leave them be if they are happily growing. That's part of ethical wildcraft. Okay, so the question is, how do you get into mushroom dyeing and mushroom identification and forages? And you do that through your local nonprofit mushroom clubs. So here in Vancouver, it's the Vancouver Mycological Society. You also have the Puget Sound Mycological Society further south and there's mushroom clubs all over the place. So just do a search for them for your area. They can help you with identification and where you can go and where you're allowed to harvest and local resources to get you started. So start there.